I'm on Anderson, uh, Jeff Anderson Way and Amadeo, Amity Path. Amity Path, Amity, Amity Path. I'm not, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I came in here a few minutes ago and it was doing a recording and it turns out that it wasn't recording at all. <laughs> now I have to come back in here and do it again. So I just I turned off Ander, Jeff Anderson way onto this Amity of Path uh, into what's going to be an upcoming veranda neighborhood. Now this guy's going to think I'm crazy because he just saw me twice in here. And for some reason I didn't notice that I wasn't recording. I got this mic on, so I'm gonna try not to yell. This guy thinks I'm a ban I'm gonna be bananas over here. I'm gonna come down this street where he's trying to work. It's funny because you can come into a neighborhood and think, oh, there's nobody here. And there's always, I don't care what time of day, what hour of the day, what day of the week, there's going to be somebody following the same path, you know, going where, where you're going. I somehow seem to have knocked my microphone fuzzy. Just knocked it down onto the floorboard. I'm in my truck. So, I didn't use the golf cart today because it had been storming this morning. And I didn't feel like getting caught up in it, so... I may go down in these other areas, but I want to come down to these other houses where it's done and then maybe come back around. So whoever requested this area, this veranda neighborhood, it's, I don't know, maybe 80% finished. And it's starting to rain again. I have no idea what the guy's doing. So really at this point, there's really not a whole lot to see. Um, see a lot of models in here, but it's... They've got a long way to go. But probably... I don't know, a few weeks maybe? Before it's done? I'm going to roll up my window, or properly said window.
And then they've got some houses back through here. So you can see the raindrops and everything starting to rain. Kind of bummed out that I didn't record the video the first time. I don't know what I was doing. And uh, I could have had all this area done before it rained. <laughs> But this should give somebody an idea of this up and coming veranda neighborhood. I guess if you're looking for how far along it's coming, like I say, it's probably about 75% of the way done, maybe 70, I don't know. Um, there are some more finished than others. And these houses are right here at the entrance. So this video might be a little weird. I'm sorry about that, guys. You know, you're trying to do it in the rain. But anyway... That's it. This is the village of Moultrie Creek, maybe? Or is this Shady Brook? Not certain. But Jeff Anderson Way and Amity Path. If I'm saying that right. Coming down a little street called Joyce Hughes Way. It's a nice cleared out section. So you can see the areas where they're going to be dropping homes. There's a golf course back in there. I don't know if that's a golf course or maybe like a, a pitch and putt perhaps. Fugate Terrace. I'll have to turn there, here. Might be a full on golf course from what it's looking like. Turning right on Butterworth Lane. Yeah, they're building a whole golf course around there. And as soon as I started recording, after it stopped raining, it started to re-rain again. <laughs> it's amazing how the weather knows what you're doing. Anyway, got a whole lot of area out here. It's not going to be long before they start building. They're ready to start building houses got all the the lots you know marked out the infrastructure is put in streets are paved up and all that now once they get in here and start actually building the houses it looks clean and pretty right now but it'll be a disaster it'll look like a war zone in here once they start actually building the houses they're gonna throw dirt on the streets and uh, on all that, I think it's to help protect the asphalt. Um, you can get a lot of construction crews. It'll be chaos, so it's kind of the quiet before the storm, if you will. And there's overlooking uh, up and coming veranda homes. 
which the street I'm on now is the Jeff Anderson Way. Somebody had made a request asking me if I had some time to ride through there. There's the back of those homes. Those are going to be overlooking a nice golf course. Beautiful green grass. It's amazing. It's going to be gorgeous. This is going to be a nice, great area to get into if you can. Especially if you want a golf course basically wrapped around you. Somebody out here actually walking. So this is definitely a place to keep your eyes on, guys. If you're looking for a house into a certain area, this is definitely up and coming. And I'm looking around. There's going to be a huge retention pond that kind of wraps around this neighborhood. Actually, I'm going to back up. I came in, when I first came in, I, I rode through this little cottage uh, area, cottage homes, and evidently the camera never was recording, I don't think. But if you are coming down Jeff Anderson Way and you turn, say, left on Savior Street, Seaver Street, I think that is, you're going to come into a cute little um, cottage home area. And I know these are cottage homes because the streets pretty much give it away too. And they actually got some finished in here. Street's actually closed to for construction. We got some cute little houses over here. I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull in and look and then pull and then I'm gonna back out. So what I'll probably do is just revisit it. When it gets more complete, you know, when they move on to the next area. So there's gonna be some up and coming cottage homes. Off of Seaver Street. That's how I'm pronouncing that. Back on Jeff Anderson Way. And I'm going to get back on Bar Boulevard. And I'm going to go ahead and head on out of here. Hope this is helping some folks, guys. Alright guys, I came down back into the village of Dabney. Um, I don't remember coming in here. I, I probably have. These are the Annette Patio Villas. Or off a Connor Court or something like that. Coener Court, who knows. The Annette Patio Villas. But somebody requested me to... Uh, look at Joseph Street and could remember where it was at at first 
but I found it. So we're going to come into this neighborhood and we're going to look at Joseph Street. I'm not sure why they requested that. Um, but we're going to. Joseph Way is what it is. I don't know if there's a Joseph Street. It didn't never come up on the village's mapping. But it did come up as Joseph Way. And these are these villas on Joseph Way. If you happen to see the house you're looking for or whatever, you know, just leave a comment below. Let me know if you saw what you were looking for. Maybe you just wanted to see the neighborhood. See how it was looking or what have you. It's really a cute little neighborhood actually. I'm going to flip around. Is that... What I like about this one, this Patio Villa neighborhood compared to some others I've seen, is it has more curves to the road. You know, it's curvier, which I kind of like that. Gives a little extra character, right? Here's the other side going westward on Joseph Way. But this this section, these houses right here is right along 470. I believe it's State Road 470. And I do hear the traffic back there as cars go by. So people have been moving in, getting settled in, you know, all that good stuff. And there's some courtyard villas on the other side of this neighborhood. I do notice a couple of houses kind of sitting awkwardly crooked if you will it's just like a corner lot and then they set the house at a, at a crooked angle now I didn't ride through the whole neighborhood there's a little section that I didn't go through or like a little short curved street well this is pretty much it for the Annette patio villa so for Joseph Way if that's what you guys were requesting to see yeah just uh let me know and it wasn't to it wasn't no trouble at all guys y'all have a good day